friends this is bharat from team cpcop today i am going to deal with a very important topic for gate as well as psu or esc that is viscosity remember it is very 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 important for gate plus engineering services plus other psus now viscosity just i'm going to give you a rough idea what is viscosity you may refer to any standard book for its definition and other sort of stuffs related to this suppose two layers of fluids which are in motion in this direction they try to bring the fluid to the rest position what happens between them suppose a stack of cards playing cards like this so what happens when you apply the force in this direction these stacks of cards shifts towards in this direction and this is suppose a table so what happens when you just uh, give a push uh, in it to the fluid or in this case uh, uh, on cards what happens the cards moves over the over one another so what happens the uh, the card next to the table table which is acting as a fixed surface now the card just above it will remain stationary why because it will try to uh, because there is a friction present in between this so it will be in fixed position now the most important question asked objective type question that first of all what is the necessary condition for viscosity now we are going to deal viscosity in fluids which means we are going to deal viscosity in liquids as well as in gases now liquid suppose it is a fixed surface and a fluid particle elemental particle is this now when we apply a force it will deform slightly deform slightly such so shear stream fixed surface now this will deform in in this direction the layer alternate layer alternate layer all these will get deformed in case of liquids now what is the reason or take a more zoom view of it actually what is happening on the micro microscopic level is suppose it's a molecule liquid molecule when you apply a force what happens the cohesive forces among the liquid molecules will try to resist the applied fs force so relatively there is a shearing phenomena occur when you apply a force in this direction on the liquid surface these alternate layers which have molecules in between them will try to oppose the force this is viscosity this is a property of fluid remember it's a property of fluid property of fluid it's a fixed surface these molecules just on the fixed surface will not move in this direction but they will try to oppose the motion on their counteractive path so these mo molecules will be in fixed position fixed position this is known as this was given by maxwell 
and this is known as no slip condition most important no slip condition or phenomena phenomena this was given by maxwell it was asked in engineering services that no slip condition or no slip phenomena was given by maxwell and what it is it is actually uh, remaining of the molecules just as it is on the fixed surface when we applied a force on it you can the the no slip condition can also be found where suppose it's a car <coughs> and you are moving with it in a certain direction what happen the wind will go like this so stream by motion or i will deal with it later in later videos just take a look right now this <coughs> it's a car when you move this in this direction the wind will blow like this the molecule the molecules of air will stick to this to this and the relative will be like this so these molecules which slip to the surface of the car it is due to no slip condition which was given by maxwell now in gases what happens so in liquids this cost is due to cohesive forces so now what happens in gases this cost is in gases look this cost in gases gas is what happens suppose a gas molecule here next one here next one here these are randomly oriented on fixed position viscosity in gases is due to the transfer of momentum from one molecule to the other is a hazard momentum transfer what is this momentum transfer so in gases this cost is due to momentum transfer as in es whereas in yeah, whereas in liquids it is due to cohesive forces remember this now i am going to take a mathematical aspects of viscosity suppose so fix surface and an elemental fluid particle acted upon by force at this this will get deformed zoom it this was the fix surface this is the variation of velocity variation of velocity with respect to vertical distance suppose an elemental strip having velocity u and this distance velocity into time let us the time be dt having a distance y since this is u dt so it will be small elemental increase u plus du dt this take it as dy it will be more clear more clear in this that this is right now since it's a curve but it's a very small elemental distance so it can be represented by a line was u dt u plus du dt this is the whole length whole length u plus u dt u dt u dt it will also be u dt so this distance will be du dt small <coughs> angle this is dy now what i am going to do to derive it's very important 
look in this diagram if we apply tan phi tan let us let this be d phi d phi small d phi mu dt by dy since tan d phi is a very small angle so it can also be written as d phi here it was du by dy this dt take it as here dt most important relation very 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 important what is this called rate of shear strain rate of shear strain what is this called velocity gradient velocity gradient remember there whenever there comes a word gradient before any Uh, after any word, so what we are going to do? Velocity gradient. Divide that term here velocity with length. Ah, uh, the length here is dy dy. So if it's area gradient, then divide area by length. This is a small thing you should know. D phi by dt is equal to du by dy. Now. I am going to prove its relevance in Newton's law of viscosity. Ah, uh, Newton's law of viscosity. I will be dealing it with in the next video. But right now, just I am going to take its help to show you people the importance of this equation. Ah, uh, Newton's law of Viscosity. What is states? Tau is equal to mu du by dy. So using this equation, what we can write here? Tau is equal to mu d phi by dt. This is always a matter of confusion for students. Yeah, velocity gradient. Shear stress is directly proportional. And uh, these things will be dealing with in detail. But remember this: that shear stress is equal to mu that is viscosity du by dt velocity gradient velocity gradient. Here tau is equal to mu d phi by dt that is rate of shear strain. Remember rate of shear strain. These both things are equal, so don't confuse in both in these. So thank you, friends, for watching this. Now uh, in the next video, I'll be dealing with the Newton's law of viscosity. Hope you like it and please share and comment us. Thank you.